Hello and welcome to more Storybook Brawl. Ooh, we got Mad Catter. Love this guy. Uh, I also enjoy Jack's Giant. I think Mad Catter is just a lot better than Potion Master because uh, you get, you know, rerolls cost about one Potion Master and it'll give like plus two plus two or more. Um, Potion Master, you have to get spells for it to work. I still love Potion Master, but I feel like, at least in my opinion, Mad Catter is one of the strongest. Uh, heroes. Although, right now, Gwen is really good with Prince Arthur, or whatever the the three-drop hero that, like, gives upgrade to prince and princesses plus two plus two um, every turn. Because then he he buffs himself to become plus four plus four every turn. And that interaction with Gwen is pretty ridiculous. Um, okay. I could take the pair. And honestly, I feel like that's not... We're playing against Skip. Actually, this is a pretty good situation. So we're playing against Skip. We take Mad Mim, and then we can buy another Mad Mim and then just run a 3-3. I could get the Mysterious Scroll. Um, if we get a reroll, it's actually not that big of a deal because we have Mad Catter. So then we'll get another character with plus two. So actually, yeah, I think that's the plan. We're going to take Mysterious Scroll. If we get the free roll, it is whatever. Um... But if we don't get the free roll and we get like uh, Eeny Meeny Miny Bow or something, then okay, free roll was the worst case scenario. But even in that situation, we just have a four four now. She's not a princess right now. She's just a dwarf, um, and that's fairly decent. We would have liked the pair of Mad Mims or you know getting Shrink Ray and getting both of them, but this is still a very very large fanny. <laughs> yeah. And we're facing the fates. All right, seven, four. Well, if we had attacked first and killed there, uh, we could have won, but we only lose three health, not a big deal. Okay, double black cat, I think is quite good with Mad Mim, so we're gonna take those. Um, no need to roll or anything like that. And do I want Fanny to go first, or do I want the black cats to try and snipe their bigger creatures? I think I'd rather the black cat snipe the creatures. I don't love taking Cinderella like as you're going into level three, so I'm not gonna like lock for that or anything. So I think we're just gonna run the comp like this. We're playing against the ooh, the the, the King Lion. Which is a late game hero. Not super good now, although if we don't attack properly, we could end up losing this. Okay, attacking there was huge because now the cat attacks Fanny. Then Fanny kills the cat, and we do win this fight. Alright, that worked out. Um, this is going to be scary, so they get... Their prince and princesses get plus two plus two for each prince and princess they've upgraded. I think is what that says. Um, so I can buy Rainbow Unicorn and then transform it into something else. I can buy the Darkwood Creeper, but that's pretty weird with like... My current unit setup. So I think we're going to roll and try and take advantage of the Mad Catter. Because now we have a 6-7 Vainpire, which now becomes a 9-7. Um, we could even go to double or triple it. And honestly, I don't hate that. It's going to decrease our chances of winning short term. But if we can triple the Vainpire to long term, it's going to be huge. And we would have to sell the cat. I think I'm going to lock... Sell this cat for the spell. This is like max greed, but it seems okay to me. Yeah, Vainpire gets a slay. That goes there. This goes here. It looks like Vainpire might even get another slay. No, no, he won't. They attacked the... Ah, oh, We still win, but if they had attacked here, we'd get another slay. That's fine. Ooh, a second blind mouse. Okay, so let's do... This second blind mouse, and then we're gonna give this one a buff for the turn. Uh, I don't really want to triple Fanny, and Lucky's great, but we are in the Vampire greed strategy right now. Playing against Merlin. Uh, maybe I was supposed to run the cat front line. Okay, we snipe that, we survive. Their adventure gets a slay, which I don't like. But we get double slays off the main pyre. They get slays off their creatures too. 
But we're definitely winning this fight, so that's good, I guess. Okay. Uh, Wicked Witch of the West is just a lot better with the Vampires, so I guess I get that. Put that here. Um, then I can put Mad Mim somewhere like here. And I kind of want to just go all in on these Vampires, so I could make this into a... Yeah, an 11-11. That seems pretty good, and then at this point we could take the Queen of Hearts and give up on the blind mouse. Uh, we could give up on Fanny as well. She's a 4-4, four, four. these are only 2-2s. Two uh, we could also take a Polywoggle, but we are playing against Geppetto, who's the top-ranked person. I think the Queen of Hearts increases our short-term win capability. Uh, a 7-4 versus a 5-2. Yeah, I'm giving up on the mice. I think that just makes sense. And then... I could sell a mouse to roll, but I don't think I really need to do that. We could just roll next turn. I'm just like pretty down on going for triples or like holding pairs when we just have a strong board. It doesn't really matter. Oh wow, we're going to get a lot of slays off of this board. <laughs> Although, uh, Geppetto is a little bit scary. But yeah, the 4-4 four -four here doesn't even kill our big guy. We kill that. Okay. I think we got this. And we get a slay. Oh, 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 yes. Yeah, we definitely crushed that. Okay. Took down the first ranked. The Queen of Hearts was very instrumental in that. Now, what do we want to do? I really want to triple this vein pyre. I like the end. I feel like I'm reasonably strong, so we can eat this blind mouse. That's a, <laughs> that's a weird sentence to take out of context. I feel like I'm reasonably strong, so I can eat this blind mouse. Um, don't love anything here. An 11-11 Juliet is pretty big, but I think that's okay. 10-10 Puff Puff. Now you're speaking my language. Um, I could go with a Darkwood Creeper. That will help boost the Vampire's uh, attack, because every time they get hit, they'll get a buff. It's also an evil character to go with Queen of Hearts. Yeah, I think I like that more than Fanny. Right now it's a 3-3, and just the hope is that they don't kill it instantly. Like, we get a couple hits off Vampire, and then it dies. I think that positioning is better than running Queen of Hearts here. Although I'm actually not for sure, because... No, let's go for maximum greed. Give everyone a little bit of an attack boost and put Queen of Hearts in the front. I think the Vampires are big enough where they should be able to clean up most things. That being said, we instantly lost our guy, so <laughs> who even knows. We did get some attack buffs there. That snipes that. The Court Wizard is pretty messed up, actually. That goes there. Well, you know, it actually worked out pretty favorably for us because we got a ton of boosts on the Vampire, and by having a zero attack creature in the back, the Vampire got another slay. So I think I like that. Ooh, Shadow Assassin's pretty good, as is a second Wicked Witch of the West. So let's take both of those. I could give one of these extra health, but I think I'm better off rolling. We get another copy of Darkwood Creeper. And I think I'm actually going to get rid of Mad Mim. And we're going to Falling Stars with Darkwood Creeper. And that means we want to do something like this, I suppose. It's not an amazing board comp for now, but I can't run Shadow Assassin because... Yeah, not being able to run Shadow Assassin with Falling Stars is kind of awkward. Um, but yeah, I can't run Shadow Assassin, but giving my whole team plus two attacks seems pretty nice. Mostly these guys, because we're trying to... Take them to victory. So now both Vampires are going to have 20 attack, which is very large. We're playing in Skip, which is scary. Oh, that mummy is going to destroy. But we're going to get a lot of... Nope, never mind. <laughs> they just had Court Wizard. Okay, well, 
That mummy was devastating. But we are now level 5 too, so we can fight fire with fire. And let's just find a triple of any of the units we're going for. And this is why I kind of gave up on some of the triples. The 6-8 Sporko is really big though. Um, this is why I didn't really want to fight the blind mouse triples or anything like that. Like sometimes you just have pairs and you just don't find any extras and can't really do anything about that. All right, we triple the Darkwood Creeper, which is fine. It's kind of the least one we wanted to triple, but not bad. I like Bad Moon, though. So we can do that. We can put Sporko... Well, we want this here. Maybe we just run Sporko and then... This is actually kind of an awkward lineup. Because we want Shadow Assassin to grow. So we want it in there, but do we actually? Because we have to sacrifice like the witch and then we could run like this here. And honestly, at this point, I don't even need Sporko really, but it is a 6-8 like range. Maybe I just run uh, the Wicked Witch of the West here as well. At that point, I kind of like uh, extra toughness on the Vampire so they can survive and then... Do I think I'm going to win? I'm facing the fates. I could sell all three of my characters to give them plus four, plus four. I think that's a little bit too greedy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're not shadow assassinating. Oh my gosh, they have a Hercules? Well, I'm glad I did not go for the uh, plus one, plus one this brawl. Everyone has court wizard. <laughs> that card's destroying me. Okay, we kill that. This gets extra attack. We're like super dying this fight for sure. That dies. That dies. We kill the Herc and then we die to the ranged. We've been getting sniped by Court Wizard. It's unbelievable. Um, okay. Now we're playing against... Yeah, every single person is playing Royals basically. Maybe I missed the memo. Um, we could take the Queen, but we're kind of off the Queen. I think we just gotta try and find a triple Vampire. Perfect. 4430. The first character has plus 10 health. He's now a 4742. And that's pretty good. Um, now we're looking for like a Baba Yaga would be nice. 1111 Humpty Dumpty. That's funny. Uh, we'll give you plus 3 plus 3 permanently. Really hoping to not face like a... Okay, there's our Baba Yaga. We can play down a character. If we wanna... No, actually we can just have it, right? We could sell all of these. All right, let's go Baba Yaga. I think that's like really our only shot at this. So we do this, we do this, and I think we just frontline the Sporko because it is a 14-10 ranged, which is pretty decent. I couldn't lock for another Sporko, but I don't really know where it goes in our comp. So I think we're just going to play a 50-43, which has Slay plus 4 plus 4, and then plus 2 plus 4. Which is really big. Like, if we can get a couple hits off, it should be good. Of course, they attack there. Next there. We just want them attacking like all of our frontline dudes. Why does everybody have court wizard? <laughs> that goes there. That goes there. I think they have a Juliet. Yeah, so we still do lose, but not, not a whole lot. Okay. Um, what can we do to make ourselves stronger this turn? We're playing against the Ghost, so I'm actually going to go with Merlin's Test. How greedy do I want to get? The Ghost is level 5, they're playing Horde Dragon. I could cut, like, all of my team except for Vainpire, so that way I get the maximum number of slays. I don't hate it. Also, uh, Southern Siren's pretty good too. Yeah, I think I need this just to survive. And then... Uh, this triggers slay abilities. 
Okay, triple witch is good. Um, okay, so how greedy do you want to be against the ghost? I think the answer is reasonably greedy. Although, I think this is just like a decent composition. I don't know if this is too greedy or anything. Uh, maybe I want Southern Siren to attack third, because that way there's more of a chance of something having died. But getting double slay triggers is really sweet, too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they have Bad Moon? Okay, I think I'm pretty happy that I didn't go super greedy. But I think I'm just going to kill their whole comp before I even have a chance to get slays off. <laughs> Which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. If I just had Vainpire, I'd probably be in good shape. Alright, we're level 6. We triple the Wicked Witch. Your first character has plus 10 attack? I guess so. We're looking for like Jormungand now and things like that. Or Jormungand. There we go. Um, yeah. Something like this. We can even run, uh... Sporko first. I like Grumblegore as well. Plus 10 attack. Twenty-eight twenty versus thirty-three thirty. What has more chance of surviving? I mean, if this gets a slay and hits, I think we're in business. Um, this is kind of the awkward spot where I kind of wish I had a level two treasure because uh, Hermes boots or whatever, like attacking first in every brawl would be really strong. I think the Vampire is big enough to be able to attack second and have no problems. Uh, the Darkwood Creeper is pretty weird. I I think we can do better than Grumble Gore. Ooh, Baba Yaga. Upgraded. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, definitely down for that. Um, we'll run that instead of Sporko or instead of Wicked Witch of the West. I'm not certain yet. Well, we're definitely replacing Darkwood Creeper, but getting a, like a couple extra attack boosts here will be nice. They gave her Baba Yaga and our Sporko. Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. <laughs> what does that even happen? Wow. This opponent like super high rolled into us with double rotten apple. Falling stars. Actually, we died? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. How did they get double rotten apple? I actually don't know. Does deck of many things get copied by forking rod? Or did they buy Rotten Apple and then the random spell they got was one damage to everything? I guess it must have been that, but that is particularly brutal. Alright, well, that's a fifth place finish with the team that was just on the brink of greatness. Ooh, see you guys next time.